morning everyone and welcome to another fire video i've tried to pick a secluded spot in camp to talk to you guys but there is a busy street near what i'm talking so i'm sorry if you can hear traffic if you haven't already seen the video i made last year about what my life is like doing seasonal work and being a wildland fire EMT, please check out that video before you watch this video and I'll link it down below. But in this video, I wanted to include some clips of the different fire camps I've been on this year and talk a little bit about um, what it's been like. I've been working pretty much all summer now. I don't think many people know what it's like to work in a fire camp. Um, but this video might uh, shed some light on that. So in my last video, I was in my car waiting to go to a fire camp and uh, that fire ended up being pretty small and there weren't very many people in camp. We were kind of set up um, in the wilderness and, and I was only there for a few days, maybe five days. Um, but it was um, a nice camp and a good experience. Um, we had one critical call that happened during the time I was there. Um, someone collapsed near the showers and we had to um, grab our jump bags and run over and um, treat that person and get them to a hospital where they could be better cared for. So that was kind of the, uh, really the only notable thing that happened to that camp. <laughs> the next fire that I went to uh, was a lot bigger uh, the fire was bigger, uh, there were a lot more fire personnel in camp uh, to fight the fire and get it contained. And uh, while I was at uh, that camp, uh, there was a big heat wave that happened and uh, we saw so many dehydration cases and uh, heat exhaustion cases and it was quite miserable. Even me, I got so overheated. Um, just by being outside and it was it was up I think the hottest day was 115 degrees Whew, it was really hot <laughs> lots of helicopters were flying around every day and um, we had planes um, flying around overhead uh, dipping into a nearby reservoir to carry water to the fire and that was very exciting. It was also very exciting to be able to see the, the smoke from this fire from camp. And actually when I was driving to the fire, I pulled off on a little road and, um, and took some clips of the fire, which I'll insert now. This fire's got a, quite a smoke plume going on. It's been really fun to sit here in my car and look at all the massive planes fly by to drop retardant on the fire. This is the actually, the view you can see right from my car. But yeah, I'm gonna meet up with my boss and figure out where we're gonna stay next, which camp. And yeah, so all just part of the fun fire life in the summer. This location, that location, never really knowing what's gonna happen next, but I love it. But also in camp, you could see the huge billowing plumes of smoke from the fire. And that was very cool too. After that fire, I moved to a spike camp. Uh, spike camps are uh, smaller versions of main camp uh, at a different location on a fire. I was at that spike camp for a few weeks and had a great time there. Um, camp was kind of spread out on this really flat land with beautiful sunrises and sunsets because there was so much smoke that the, the sun would be orange and you could look directly at it as it was rising or setting. That was really beautiful. Also, at that spike camp, we uh, had more environmental hazards. <laughs> um, a rattlesnake was killed right in front of um, our trailer. They, uh, they cut off its head and buried it, and um, it had five little rattles on its tail. So I think that means that, that, that it was five years old, but obviously we can't have 
poisonous snakes in camp, but it made me kind of sad. And uh, we had a scorpion sting on that spike camp, and uh, the guy ended up being fine. And what else did we have? Oh, a little mouse made a home in my tent. <laughs> I had some Kleenex in uh, in the tent with me, and it had found that the Kleenex and it shredded it all up and made a cute little bed that it was sleeping in, and I had no idea. <laughs> So we had to shoo that, shoo that little mouse out. Another great thing about the spike camp that we were uh, in, we could see the fire, the actual flames of the fire from spike camp, um, which was pretty cool. And I've seen that before previous years, but um, every time it's really, really cool to see um, the actual flames from the fire. Um, I think our spike camp was maybe seven miles from the fire and um, at night the the hillside would glow where the fire was. Spike camp was pretty dusty and windy. <laughs> at night sometimes my tent would whip and whip back and forth that I was sure it would just collapse around me but thankfully it didn't happen. <laughs> One thing I love about fire camp and just the community in general is that sometimes uh, there will be cultural experiences the first fire I ever went to, um, some Samoans were there. Uh, I think they were a hotshot crew, and they did a dance. They did a dance for everybody in camp, and it was so beautiful. And uh, at this spike camp that I uh, was at recently, um, some Native Americans came to camp and did a dance too. They did a dance to thank um, us at camp for saving their homes from the fire. It was really cool. <laughs> After spike camp, I went to another camp, um, smaller and um, really beautifully located with a creek running through camp and large trees and driving into the fire was a really interesting experience um, seeing the combination of smoke and fog ocean fog. I actually stopped by Carmel Beach, which I visited earlier this year. Um, you can check that out in a video that I made back in January. And when I visited this beach uh, in January, it was this beautiful pink sunset and it was so gorgeous. And I stopped by the same beach on my way to fire camp and it was totally different. It was foggy and smoky and a very kind of eerie gray color. Very beautiful though, but I, I really enjoyed that, that contrast. the fire camp that I'm at right now is um, on the other side of the camp that I was on before for the same fire um, and uh, we are at a fairgrounds <laughs> in that it's not being used right now um, so uh, the fire camp personnel are occupying the space and it's been really really fun uh, being here uh, there's some beautiful huge barns here um, that uh, they usually hold rodeos in and I've actually been able to see a little high school rodeo while being here and I'll insert some clips now. I just finished feeding uh, the two horses that live here. Um, I fed them an apple this morning and they enjoyed it. <laughs> you guys smell what's in my pocket? Huh? Little treat time maybe? <laughs> oh, don't be mean. No, I'm gonna feed the other one first then if you're gonna be mean. You want it? Here, let me put it in here for you. There you go. Good baby. What's that on your face, feather? Good baby, you like that? You want it now, Miss Mimi?
Look at baby. Oh, you like that? Ooh, is it yummy? Is that super yummy? <laughs> what a horse, you what a good horse. This fire has been really cold in the mornings. <laughs> and that's why I'm wearing this sweatshirt. Um, so I I mean oftentimes fire camps are very hot, but sometimes actually later in the season it can be quite cold at night. The one thing we're really dealing with on this fire is poison oak. Oh, the poison oak is terrible in this area and we've been uh, handing out a lot of topical treatments and uh, giving poison oak shots and that's pretty much the main thing that's been going on here in terms of uh, medical stuff. Another thing that's making me so happy at this uh, fire camp is there is an empty... <laughs> there is an empty gym here. Crow, go away! It's really rare that I actually get to work out on a fire, but I have been uh, working out uh, during our downtime here. It's so nice to be able to get some exercise when usually I don't get any at all in fire camps. One thing I love about my job is the ability to travel around and novelty, getting to see different places in the state of California and even beyond, um, and never really knowing what I'm going to experience or do <laughs> while I'm at fire camp. I also have filmed a little bit of some of the tents I've lived in this fire season, and I can insert those now. I've also filmed some of the food that I've eaten this fire season and I'll insert that now.
I guess I'm gonna end the video here because the crow is being so noisy. <laughs> so thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe. Hope you enjoyed uh, watching the little clips that I've compiled from my time at different fire camps this season. And I'll either see you in the next fire camp or I don't know what the next video is gonna be.